Okay guys, I got another Uzi to show you. If you've watched my channel, you've seen a lot of these, just some new color combinations. This is from the brand Jokeney, J-O-K-E-N-E-Y. Also affiliated with Darkent, which is a brand I've shown you before too. Uh, they do a nice job of packaging, which we don't always see. So it does come in a nice box, nice package here. You can see the different color combinations you can get. And they do give you the nice little instruction manual with all the parts and some tips and tricks. So we don't see that everywhere. So we're just gonna go through, show you everything included, and then we'll get it all put together and ready to use. All right, first off, of course, safety glasses. Make sure you're wearing some sort of eye protection. These are the nicer safety glasses. So if you do need them, they do come with them. You get a little rail mount laser that we're gonna mount on the bottom here. Okay, and it just turns on like this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that in a few minutes. We've got a bunch of gel beads. One thing that Jokini and Darkent always do is give you tons of gel beads, which is great because they do get expensive. And, um, you know, especially if you're trying to buy them somewhere locally, brick and mortar. So lots and lots of gel beads. And of course, you know the importance of how to soak those properly. So if this is your first time with a gel blaster, you wanna make sure that you're soaking them for four to six hours, use plenty of water, and use a large enough container. I would not dump this whole thing in. This would take at least four liters of water and a very large container. So start with a small amount. I use like airtight containers like this, and just make sure you uh, soak them four to six hours, strain off any excess water when you're done, and then load up your hopper and you're ready to go. In airtight containers, the balls should last up to two weeks, uh, but do not store them in the gun because they'll start to degrade and they can cause some problems. Got a couple of little water activated targets. So when you shoot these with a gel ball, it's gonna leave a mark. And then when it dries off, it'll be back to normal. So that's just kind of a cool little bonus. And then we've got your battery and your charger. So the other thing besides getting those gel balls soaking is to charge up your battery. So it's best practice just to charge it right away fully. Uh, you can see we've got a USB charger right here. This is a four pin battery connection, 7.4 volt, 600 ma. You're gonna plug this into any AC adapter that's one amp or greater. This one will have a red light when it's charging and that light will turn off when it's fully charged. So charge that sucker up. The ribbon is on here to try to assist you in getting the battery out. So the battery compartment on these is fairly tight and so that ribbon just helps to get the battery out when you're changing it to recharge it. So I plugged it in here. We're gonna tuck that harness back in this case and then kind of push the battery in and down and leave the ribbon over here and that'll help us get it out. So if your battery does become stuck, just try to be gentle and patient and you'll eventually work it out. So we got the battery in there. Here's our power button down here. We're gonna just go ahead and make sure it's working so you can see it's working. Right? And then we'll go ahead and turn that back off or in safety mode. So this little laser is gonna go on the rail, but this is uh, the rail style where we need to make sure that this screw piece is in between the rails. So the only thing you need to really do there is just make sure that you loosen it up enough so that you can kind of clip it over the side. You can't just slide it directly on and then tighten it down and then you're good to go with that, okay? So we got that set up there. So if we flip it up here, you see this little piece. Now this piece is if you wanna go ahead and clip this on. So it's gonna come with this. You can clip that on there if you'd like, okay? And that's just purely for cosmetics. It doesn't really do anything. And you've got your, you know, your muzzle here, your flash hider, whatever you wanna call it, and that just pushes on tight and it'll stay on there. It's definitely on there tight, okay? One of the last things we got going is we've got your bracket for your hopper. So again, this is a hopper fed, gravity fed gel ball blaster. Your hopper sits up here full of gel balls and they fall into the barrel. So to put the bracket on, you're gonna push that button, slide it forward, it locks in place, and now you can leave it on there. You don't need to really take it off again. This extra magazine is for storage of additional gel balls. So you can just open it up at the top, fill it up with your gel balls, and then store this down here, okay? And then to release it, the release button is right here. Push down, that releases it. Otherwise it's locked in. Okay, and again, that's just for storage. So now we're ready to connect the hopper. 
Like I showed you already, I already had gel balls made. I already have a hopper ready. So all we're gonna do is kind of turn the blaster upside down or to the side like this and just screw that hopper on. And just make sure you're not over tightening it because you can break the hopper. All right, so it's ready to go. Let's go shoot it. I assume we're gonna see similar FPS like we have with other Uzi Mac 10 gel ball blaster models. Uh, but we don't know. We'll check it out. We'll do some demo with it. We'll do some FPS testing. And again, the benefit with this one is Jokini um, and Darken just give you a lot of extra gel beads. So that's one of the big bonuses. And then you saw the packaging was a little nicer, more premium packaging too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you've got any questions, of course, put them down there. I try to answer all of them. And thanks for the support. And please participate in the different giveaways I do. I try to give away a couple blasters at least every month. All right, we're going to shoot this Uzi or Mac 10 to be more correct for those of you out there who are purists and worry a little too much about semantics. This is the Jokini Uzi style slash Mac 10 gel ball blaster. Find it on Amazon. They've got a couple different color versions. We're going to go ahead and shoot it and we'll test the FPS on it. Um, I assume it's going to perform much like we've seen with the others, but we'll see. consistent like you'd expect with a top loader. Let's see what we're up for FPS. So I've seen highs as high as 130. So I'd say it's somewhere around a 120 average probably. So, um, you know, not bad. I think that's what we've seen with these in the past. It actually seems like it might be a bit better. I don't recall them getting as high as 130 in the past. So Jokini, J-O-K-E-N-E-Y. Also, Darkant is like the company that sells them. I've shown you stuff from them before. Cool thing with them is they do give you tons of gel beads to start with. You get like 60,000. So that's a nice little bonus. Check them out. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you got any questions, any comments. Of course, like my videos. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you participate in all the Gel Blaster giveaways that I do.